Well, here's a quick video of what project I'm dealing with. This is the first attempt with out of, out of scraps that I have around the house. I'm going to try and make my son a dinosaur mountain or volcano that's going to have this cave for dinosaurs in it. So I've just got just some old pieces of wood. As you can tell, I've cut weird shapes out of it. Got this foam from packaging from some, I don't even remember what we got it from. And uh, so this is one of the dinosaurs that we got him for his birthday. And it's his, I think it's his biggest one. Or, well, one of his biggest. And so we're using it as reference. And we're gonna try and make a little cave inside. We're gonna cut these foam boards and kind of build them up to make a cave or a volcano shape. I've got some chicken wire, I think it's fourth, fourth an inch openings in it. Um, so I'm going to use that to kind of help sculpt some of the, more of the mountain shape. This stuff's more just for structure. And I'm going to use great stuff to kind of build the foam outside of it um, on the, with, with the chicken wire and different things. Gonna, build it up into this volcano and uh, and then use a cheap little serrated knife and shape it and put some kind of sealant and paint and and more sealant and uh, hopefully it'll turn out all right so I got the little piece of wood just cut I gave some of the edge a little bit open that way I can kind of trim it on that outside except right here I wanted it pretty flush to help support the weight and, uh, you can tell it's about how big the cave will be inside the volcano then we're just gonna build it up from there well it's the next night and we glued we use this gorilla glue you know just regular stuff original stuff glued the board onto the under these foam bricks and then glued the bricks down on this other main piece here and I mean it's it's solid you know I'm picking it up by that top piece which should be the weakest piece all right um glued on these blocks and I've got some books up there holding it holding them down as they kind of set and I decided I'm just gonna get started on some of the spray foam so I just put it a little bit up on that board on that ledge and down here um, I've got it coming down cascading kind of off of that one thing I forgot to put a video of is underneath here I've got um, strips of this this wire mesh chicken mesh um, so I've got that kind of as a skeleton in there just to help it be a little bit stronger and to hold up and uh, so you can see how much foam I've got and there's a whole bunch in here this I mean because this just goes straight down so this whole suck sucker right here is just solid which is only one can so I used up this whole little can I've got a bigger can here that I've got that I'm gonna use. All right well I put another small can of that that uh, stuff on here kind of filled in oh that's not very good because you saw me do most of that so I filled in right here on the back side just kind of giving a base layer this side's gonna have to be pretty steep almost like a cliff here and so I'm just just because I'm gonna have to build it up and slope it and cut it I'm kind of trying to do it in layers so and that's gonna be the top of the volcano I gotta fill in pretty much this whole top side. All right, so I just barely put on the last can of of spray foam. You can kind of see the goofy shape it's made. Hopefully, it turns out looking like a cave. I tried to put a little bit of detail on the inside, you know, some drips and different things. All that's gonna be painted anyway, so hopefully, it kind of helps give some three D feel left a little opening in the top down in there I want to 
try and put some lava and maybe have some come down. And granted, so all this is still fresh right here. I built up a little bit more of a ridge, so that's going to puff up tonight a little bit. Um, I'm going to get the fan going on it. Okay, guys, it's the next day, and I've let this dry. Um, I'm going to start trying to a little bit piece by piece trim. You can see I just barely started right here, kind of trying to carve some of the round edges off and um, trying to make this look a little bit more like rocks instead of marshmallows. <laughs> so I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep going. You can tell that volcano almost closed up. You have to open that up a little bit and then make a path come down the side. So, so far that's, that's kind of how it's looking right now. Alright, so here it is. I think I'm all done carving. Basically just took all the round edges and tried to square them up a little bit. Make it more look like uh, rocks and earth. And, Kind of stuff. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. This part's taken easily just the longest, most time consuming part, but. Okay, so I finished cutting and shaping all the foam last night, and just now, as you can tell, just barely started to prime it with some Rust Oleum spray paint primer. Just that was the first pass through I just barely did, so you can tell it's still wet and shiny. I'm doing a base layer of a flat black paint and uh, I'm going to do that as a base and then we're going to touch up the highlights and give it some grays and browns and greens and go from there. This is what it looks like so far. Oh, I probably shouldn't turn it. That's what it looks like. There's the volcano. Okay guys, so here it is after I put on probably good two to three coats everywhere. That's just with the spray paint. Um, it's not very we good got light. the volcano painted black with multiple layers with the spray paint. We've let it dry for a few days and now we're just going to take some gray paint and we're just getting it really dry and we're just tr brushing it on like this. Trying to get some of the areas covered but not everything. We still want a lot to show through. So, so here it is after the first coat of that dry brush paint on the rock actually looks a lot better than I was thinking it was gonna look and so kinda get the idea just turned all that black and just kinda gave it some dimension where the grays really hitting on the corners and the outside but still down deep is the black we're gonna hit it with another highlight a lighter gray on some of the edges and then we're gonna do green patches we've got some plant foliage and stuff. This is stuff we bought at just PetSmart for aquariums. And that, and edges All right, now that the paint's dried, we decided to go ahead and put in some painter's caulk, some acrylic caulk and just try to get it coming like lava flows and just looking at the rocks and how it would kind of flow down um, we're gonna let this dry overnight and then uh, come back and paint it with reds and oranges and yellows and maybe some black just as it's kind of like supposed to be like lava I don't know I've never done lava before but hopefully it'll give uh, Give the feel okay so we put the lava flows coming down just use some coke as you can see here and now that it's dried up we are trying to do the best we can to paint it so here we put in pockets of green started the lava and pretty much anywhere there's a big pocket of green like here and here we're gonna put some of these fake plants coming through and sprouting up so it's just to kind of help give it a little extra and then we tried to put some little mossy like parts there um, put in some black with the lava to try to make it look a little bit better so we're gonna spray it with a clear coat um, do a few coats of that try to 
protect it a little bit and then we'll put in the, the plants. At that point we should be done. Okay, so we got the clear coat on and I've just gone and put in all the foliage, the small little bushes and leaves and stuff and uh, I've just kind of pushed them down into the foam with some Gorilla Glue at the base to glue them in. Hopefully it holds up well. Um, they're gonna basically be there. Well, here's the end product. I decided to not do the vines. So I've let the glue set so you can tell they're pretty well stuck in there. All the plants. Got the cave. Fake lava. Got up here. This is going to be a ledge where dinosaurs and stuff can sit. Eventually we're thinking about doing a pterodactyl nest or something here. That's it. Now, the next step will be to see if it lasts a three-year-old monster.